Alrighty. Let's get this fucking shit rolling, fuckers. Dude, I've gotten fat since the last time I fucking did chemo. Oh, man, I gotta lose this jiggly shit. That's why I have a beard. Well, oh, goatee. That always looks straggly as fuck. Oh, shit. I forgot I fucking started. All right. Give me one second, and it's gonna fucking suck. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> okay, so that's what it's like for me to cough. I have to cough lightly, because they gave me this little fucking two-inch incision. Um, right above my belly button, that feels like, you know, I've been punched right in the fucking gut every time I cough really fucking hard. Oh well, that's life. Shit happens. Um, I know yesterday I posted a video and it was very down and dreary and fucking... I was very, I, I guess I was very whiny. And I think it's because I didn't, you know... I don't know, I, I don't think the news exactly... It, it sunk in, it just wasn't the news I wanted to hear. And it's not the news that anybody wants to hear, I guess, at that point. So, you guys saw me at one of my, you know, low points. Uh, mm, tasty. But anyways, so, I noticed, you know, like, it's one of those, it sucked. Yesterday really did fucking suck. Um, finding out that I can't have the surgery due to the fact that I have these tumors that are literally, like, that big, all on my abdominal wall. Um, not half as bad, like the pictures are worse, I mean, I'll literally show you guys the pictures, um, if you guys want, and on the camera, of course, they look like they're like that fucking big, and I was, I freaked, I think that was the other thing that I was freaking the fuck out about, and the tumors really aren't that bad, <clears throat> they thought, like, I, we expected it to be like one big mass, and it was like hundreds of these little fucking tiny things, and they're embedded into my stomach muscle in the abdominal wall area, which sucks, but the chemo that I was doing before was working, it did shrink everything down, which gives me a little bit more time to live, of course, which is fucking awesome, so um, the nice thing is now my doc, my oncologist will know what kind of corrective action to take for the chemo, it might be a stronger dosage of chemo where I lose all my hair. Or it might be a lower dosage of chemo, but we'll do it over time. Or it might take me five years to be cancer-free. But everybody's... And, you know, like, when I heard five years, I was like, you know, man, that's a fucking long time. But in the long run, if I can do five years to become cancer-free, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take that any fucking option to become cancer-free. You know, it's one of those, it sucks... But, I get to see my kids grow up. That's my main thing. I want to see my kids grow up. I want to grow old with my wife. Um, you know, kind of love her a lot. Even though she's a pain in the balls. And she's like right around the corner. And she's probably going to watch this video. And I'm probably going to get smacked in the fucking dick. Something. I don't know. But, oh well. It's worth it. Fuck it. Love you, dear. So, <clears throat> you know, it, it sucked that I got the shitty news yesterday. But in a way... It's one of those, it helps out a lot because I find out, I found out now <coughs> what we can do from here, you know, the corrective act, to take the right course of action now on what to do, which is perfect. Because if we didn't know how bad this was now, he could have given, given me the wrong chemo, which might not have worked for what was going on, and... You know, that's great. So, with that being said, tonight I'm probably going to be doing a Google Hangout. Um, anybody wants to join, let me fucking know. I know Wiggy said he wanted to. Um, we're probably just going to call it What the Fuck Wednesday. Um, I'm going to try to make sure it's after Unthrones um, Wednesday Wazix. I don't want to interfere with any of the other Eptic guys and their stuff. Um... Love Unthrown and Big Devon. I don't know if they're still doing that show or not, but, you know, fucking shout out to them. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and to my friends. You guys have been a huge inspiration to me, and 
<clears throat> besides my family, you know, my, my biological family, um, a lot of my friends from Eptic and, you know, on Twitter and everything else, when I am down, you guys kind of give me that little push in the ass, and, you know, it's great. It's, you're just kind of like, it's the small little words of encouragement here and there, and it means a lot. I might not fucking say it a lot, and I might vent at times and fucking sound like, you know, yeah, I want to fucking die, and I'm moving a bag around when I shouldn't be, but yeah, I mean, I, I might sound like I want to fucking die and all this other stuff, and get negative. And sometimes, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm fucking human, you know, you're only human on this one. But you guys kind of give me that little push, you know, to get me out of that funk. And I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, I, I, it sucks because the only surgery that I'll ever have is if I ever have a blockage in my colon. Um, because of the cancer, because of the tumors are that bad. So this is something, like I said from the beginning, um, you know, it's a bit of a setback. But finding out that I will be living with this for the rest of my life. Uh, well, they can't technically cure me is what they're saying. But they can keep it manageable. Now, I've figured out a few solutions as well. Um, besides the hemp oil <clears throat> that I was going to do. I'm actually going to do a thing called um, the alkaline diet. Now, cancer cannot survive in an alkaline-based system. Pretty much, I go cutting out any meats in my system as well. Like, I can do fish. I will cut out, probably have to cut out red meat, or I can have it every now and then, just, you know, can't have it all the time, and chicken and all that stuff. It's one of those. I want to make sure that I can improve my well-being and maybe not get the shit knocked out of me so fucking hard every time I do chemo, because it'll actually help my body out a lot. I noticed when I was doing, um, if you guys didn't notice, there was the Juicing with Smasher video, and that was one with the, it's called the Green Monster, where it's uh, got um, <clears throat> spinach leaves, pineapples, bananas, and almond milk, and you blend that together, and it looks nasty, you know, it's this nasty fucking green color. But that's an actual alkaline-based drink. Uh, found out a lot of this stuff that, like, a lot of the stuff that I already like and I've been eating um, as of late, just started doing it and then read up on it. Um, like, berries, melons are very high in alkaline. Um, but you have to make sure you don't do too much alkaline in your system because then it's like alkalosis or some shit like that. My sister's a fucking whiz with the whole medical terms. She's actually studying to become a nurse. And hopefully this December she fucking graduates because she's been doing it for a really long fucking time and been busting her fucking ass. But, uh... <coughs> she's been doing the same thing as well. And... Hold on. <coughs> So with this alkaline-based you know, diet, you have to mix it with salty and a few other things. But it prevents proper digestion, um, weight loss, the whole fucking nine, um, better kidney, better kidney function, everything else. <coughs> Ugh. Also, um, fuck, I just lost my train of thought because the painkillers just started kicking in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, son of a bitch. Also, I mean, you know, it, I think it kind of, I don't know, it's one of those, again, I think I kind of needed that kick in the ass to um, go back to doing chemo. Um, I know I've said it before, or I don't know if I said it to any of you guys, but it was kind of like, you know, the Lord's way of going, hey, you're going to get through this, but no shortcuts, man. You know, and when I said I'd like to know who I pissed off in a previous life, I, I, I think, you know, it's kind of like a test to will, you know, um, a test of willpower. And, 
you know, you're only given so much that you can, as much as you can possibly handle, and I know that, I, I don't know, it's, I've been given a fucking lot, a lot to fucking handle, and it's opened my eyes on a lot of things. I know, um, because of the cancer, I have a better relationship with my kids. I have a better relationship with my wife and my parents and everybody around me. Um, I know that it's one of those, I try to make sure that I better myself as a human being just because before I think I was a really shitty person at certain times. Really fucking was. And it's definitely a wake up call, you know, and it was good. And smoke a cigarette, and if you guys bitch at me about it, eat a fat bag of dicks. I'm sorry. But with the alkaline base, okay, going back to the alkaline based diet, um, it's it just helps you out completely, 100%. Makes me it'll make me feel a whole hell of a lot better, and it'll actually help with the cancer and stuff like that, which is fucking badass. I'm really, I don't know, I, I was all bent out of shape yesterday, and I have to say, I shouldn't have been, and I know I should, you know, I know I shouldn't get down like that, because you know what, I was lucky enough to be able to wake up that day, I was lucky enough to give my kids a hug and kiss goodbye before I went to the hospital, and I know I joked about it a lot. But my biggest fear was um, about that whole surgery was not waking up from the anesthesia. And I don't have any issues with the anesthesia. But for just being under for the hour and a half that I was, my surgeon was like, just a heads up, I, I had to use three times the amount of painkillers the, you know, on you than the normal person, and I had to look, I was like, uh, just a heads up, I have a high tolerance for pain, and then I have a higher tolerance for painkillers, and I said, the amount of painkillers that I take on an average day from the pain from my stomach and everything else could pretty much put somebody into, the amount of pills I take in a day was almost enough where my body, it's enough where my body is going to be addicted to it, but it's also enough where it could actually kill somebody. I'm, you know, that's like 105 pounds. Because <clears throat> I take close to 1,200 milligrams of Percocets a day. Not because I want to, um, just to pretty much make sure my body doesn't hurt. And... Now I'm feeling really fucking good because the painkillers kicked in. But my fucking cigarette went out. But, you know, I will be weaning myself off of it because um, it kind of freaks me out and it's going to do more damage to my liver than anything else. It's like binge drinking all the fucking time. And I'm amazed how my liver hasn't turned into a fucking solid rock. And the doctor, I will say this, the doctor looks at me yesterday because he's like, man, I figured you'd be sleeping, you know, sleeping this stuff off. Because right before I got out, of, like, right when I was in recovery, right before I left, probably like 20 minutes before I left, they hit me with six milliliters of Dilaudid. Now, that's enough to fuck you up. I mean, seriously, fuck you up. You're definitely not supposed to be walking, not supposed to be talking. You'd probably be sleeping. <coughs> and when they did that, it actually woke me up. I was like, oh, hi. Okay. And I think the funniest thing was, before I left, they made me take a week. That's what I was going to talk about. They made me take a week. Well, they gave me a catheter. And didn't tell me they gave me a catheter. But they're like, we just need you to pee. And I'll go, okay. I'll take a leak. That's no problem. Thank God for oh shit handles in the fucking toilet. Like, in the toilet area. 
because right as I was about to produce urine, it was like somebody just instantly stabbed the tip of my penis with a fucking ice pick. And then it was like razor blades flowing out of my fucking urethra. Holy fuck! What the fuck was that? I was like, am I having a urinary tract infection? I was like, do I have another kidney stone? And the nurse, like, hears me go, yeah, what the fuck? It fucking burns. And the nurse, like, knocks on the door and goes, just so you know, you were cathetered. I was like, thanks for fucking letting me know. That's awesome. My fucking dick hurts. But, you know, shit happens. <coughs> ah, um, so tonight I will be doing that podcast with Wiggy, hopefully. And I'd like to get as many of you guys on there if you want. If not, fuck you. No, I don't care. I mean... Usually it's a slow starting thing anyways, but, you know, I just kind of want to say thank you to everybody as well for all the love and support, um, my friends, my family. Um, to me, uh, you know, a lot of people, I've been hearing this a lot lately and it just it throws me for a loop, I guess. Um, some people, a lot of people have told me that I'm a true inspiration to them when, to me, all the support and everything else is what inspires me to keep going the way I'm going. And I'm very thankful to have friends and acquaintances, you know, like I do, and subs on my channel. I know that I haven't played too many fucking video games just because I've been really, really sore. And, you know, I pretty much got like six weeks of recoup. So I think I'm going to start doing some stuff. I mean try to get some Battlefield 4 out there from the beta. I know I suck at it ridiculously, but you know what? I don't fucking care. It, it's enough where it just takes my mind off of everything. I'm not going to post Black Ops 2 stuff just for the sheer fact that I hate the game, and I'll probably post Modern Warfare 3. And I will say this. Everybody I know fucking hates that game. I love it. I don't care. I fucking love it. Not for all or nothing. Drop Zone is the shit. And so is Domination. And I absolutely enjoy playing this fucking game because... I don't know, there's hit detection. And the small fire straight. But, you know... Oh well. To each their own. But I wanted to say thank you for all the support from everybody. I love y'all. To my all my family and friends and everybody else. And, uh... I'm gonna fucking beat this shit. I'm gonna fight till the fucking bitter fucking end is how I look at it. And you guys might hear me fucking bitch, piss, moan, whine, and complain at certain points. And just let me do it, because I'm going to vent, and I know I need to stay positive, but there's certain times that I'm just going to need to fucking vent. Because it's, you're all, I'm only human, you know? But I know that I well, you need to have a uh, positive outlook on everything, because if you don't, it will kill you. It will literally fucking kill you. And I will say this much. Uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. I don't know. It was... April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Just a heads up. I'm, I think it was in April or May-ish. Um when I found out I had cancer and I was given six months to live. Well, it's around the seven month time frame. No, it was, it, it was April because I got married on May 4th. No, 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 shut up. Oh my God, my wife will kill me. Um, I got married on May 6th. So it's been over six, seven months. And I'm still alive. That's how I look at it. I was given six months to fucking live. I was told there was no way that without the surgery, I would still be alive. So, to the doctor that said that, eat a fat bag of dicks, buddy. I'm still here. Go fuck yourself. So, with that being said, thank you very much. I'm XGC Backsmasher. I'm out.
Eat a fat bag of dicks. Go fuck yourself. And have a great fucking day.